Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial and today we are going to generate the HNMR spectrum of ethyl acetate. So first let us draw the molecule. And add hydrogens. There we go. Now we want to do a pre optimization by pressing the gear in the taskbar below. When it has finished, we want to do a geometry optimization, which is the calculation you always want to do before any other calculation to make sure you have the correct geometry going forward. We will leave all the settings at their default settings and run the file. It shouldn't take very long. And after it is finished, it will ask us to read new coordinates and we will press yes. It is finished. And now we will press yes to read the new coordinates. And now we are going to change our task to a single point calculation. Change our functional to GGA and then change it to OPBE. And change our basis set to J and then TZ to PJ. These are some settings that are designed for NMR calculations, which we are doing today. So you should use these ones. Now we will move over to the properties tab and select NMR. We want shielding for all H atoms and also perturbing responding all H atoms. If you have any alcohols present in your molecule, you may want to exclude these as they may mess with your calculations. Next up, we are going to run this file. Yes and yes. This will take approximately 10 minutes uh, and I will cut to you guys back when, I've, when the calculation has finished. Okay, for me it took a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but it all depends on the hardware you have. Now the calculation has finished and we will go to SCM and press Spectra, which will show us the NMR spectrum. Now the first thing that we want to do is change the width to 0.01, make it a little bit cleaner and engage coupling. Now the spectrum looks a bit like a mess and this is because it does not distinguish chemically equivalent hydrogens. Now to engage this, we go to NMR and we will press chemical equivalent regions. There we go. Now you can see the colored spheres around the chemical equivalent hydrogens. And we see the spectrum now. It's a lot better. Next up, what we want to do is we want to compare this with an experimental spectrum. I had, the one I will be using today will be available for download in the description. Other sources for experimental spectra are the Spectral Database for Organic Compounds, or SBDS. And on their website, there are NMR spectral data for tons of different organic compounds. And I will link them in the description as well. So we're going to file and then press add. And I will open this XY file, which is the one as, as, that is available for download in the description. Yes, I want to put it on the left axis. And now we can see the experimental spectrum in blue and our generated spectrum in red. Now we want to overlap these spectra. And we do that by going to tools and then optimize SIM. IR spectra overlap. There we go, they have been overlapped, as you can see here. The overlap is quite good, which is as expected for a small molecule like this. While this can be a little bit messy, we can change the way the peaks look by double clicking the axis and going to curves. And instead of curve, 
you want to press ticks and press OK. Now instead of curves, they will just be single sticks. Thank you all for watching. This was the ADF tutorial on how to generate the proton NMR spectrum of ethyl acetate. I hope this was useful for you. If it was, please leave a like down below. And please let us know in the comments what tutorial you would like to see next. Take care.